Greetings. We're going to do 147 and 148. So let's take a look. It says an independent research firm conducted a study of 100 children participating in an advertising program to improve math skills. Alpha was 0 0.05. Now I'm going to scoot to the end because it says, assuming it's effective, what would increase power? Wow, this is a repeating question. To increase power, we've taken notes about this before. We got two choices, increase alpha or increase n. That's gonna increase the power of the study because what is power? It's the ability to detect an untruth when you know that the untruth is there to be recognized. So we're trying to walk through door number one. If you increase alpha, you increase your chances of walking through door number one. Also, if you increase in, you increase the ability to detect an untruth. So looking at my choices here, taking alpha, using a lower alpha than what I already have is not gonna work. Increasing the sample size from 100 to 200 is exactly what my notes say, and so I'm just gonna lock on to E. Next question. It states five estimators for a parameter have been evaluated. So you can see you've got five choices here to choose from, and the true value of the parameter is zero. So what is that telling us? Well, it looks like they're quantifying a quantitative variable, and when I look at my formula sheet, it says mu x bar equals mu. So what they're saying is they took a sample distribution and that should equal my population. So they know that the true value of the parameter should be zero. So that should be zero and that should be zero. And so this is out because it's not zero. And that would be bias. It's, it's tending to a lower range. And that looks a little biased as well, so I'm gonna kick that one out. This one's looking pretty decent. Mm, this one's looking decent, not so decent. So I basically narrowed my choices down to A and B because the other ones don't have equal values for my parameter. Now it says if my simulation has 100, so when N is 100, this is similar to things we looked at in class. When I choose 100, Anything over 30 is going to create something real pretty like this. So this that I just drew does not look like that. So this is probably in a certain amount where n is something less than 30, like maybe five to 10. And this is looking a lot squishier. So we know that by increasing n, and so if this was a picture of n30, this is probably a picture of n100 because as I increase n, the variability of the spread outedness of my sample distribution gets skinnier. So I'm choosing B. That's all I got for you folks. Thanks for joining us.